playing nicely with friends. Once upon a time in a cozy neighborhood, there lived a group of playful children who loved spending time together in the local park. Among them was a young boy named Sam who was known for his kindness and good manners. One sunny afternoon, Sam and his friends gathered at the park for a game of soccer as they kicked the ball around and laughed together. They soon noticed a new kid, Alex, watching them from the sidelines with a shy smile. Alex hesitated at first, feeling unsure, but Sam's friendly attitude put him at ease. With a grateful nod, Alex eagerly joined in, thrilled to be included. As the game progressed, Sam noticed that some of his friends were being a bit rough, pushing and showing each other in their enthusiasm to win. Sam knew that this was not the way to play, so he gently reminded them to be kind and considerate of each other's feelings. Let's remember our manners, everyone, Sam said. With a smile, we are here to have fun together, not to hurt each other. At the end of the day, as the sun began to set and the children bid farewell to the park, Alex approached Sam with a grateful smile. Thank you for being so kind to me today, Alex said. I was nervous about joining in, but you made me feel welcome. It was my pleasure, he replied. Remember, good manners and kindness go a long way, especially when playing with others. I am glad you were able to join us, Alex. And with that, the two boys said their goodbyes, looking forward to many more days of fun and friendship in the park. From that day on, Sam's friends followed his example, always remembering to play with good manners and consideration for others. And as they continued to enjoy their time together, they knew that their bond was strengthened only by their love of play but also by their shared values of kindness and respect. Emily's Kind Heart, A Tale of Compassion Once upon a time, there was a girl named Emily who was very kind. She always helped others whenever she could. One day, she saw an old lady struggling with her bags of groceries. Emily rushed to help her and carried the bags to her house. The old lady was so thankful. Emily started visiting the old lady often, bringing her groceries and spending time with her. They became good friends and the old lady felt like Emily was her own granddaughter. Word spread about Emily's kindness and soon everyone in the village knew about her good deeds. People admired her and wanted to be like her. One day, Emily saw some children being mean to a stray cat. She told them, to stop and rescue the cat from harm. The children felt bad and promised to be kinder to animals from then on. Emily realized that even a small acts of kindness could make a big difference. She continued to help others and spread happiness 
wherever she went. The moral of Emily's story is that kindness is important. By being kind to others, we can make the world a better place for everyone. Mia and Ben's Enchanted Adventure A Tale of Sibling Love Once upon a time, in a cozy little cottage at the edge of a bustling village, lived two siblings named Mia and Ben. Mia, the elder sister, was gentle and caring, always looking out for her younger brother Ben. Ben, on the other hand, was energetic and adventurous, but he always knew he could rely on Mia whenever he needed her. One sunny morning, Mia and Ben decided to explore the enchanted forest that bordered their village. Excitedly, they packed some snacks and set off on their adventure. As they wandered deeper in the forest, they marveled at the towering trees and coloring flowers that surrounded them. Suddenly, they heard a faint cry for help coming from the thick underbrush. Without hesitation, Mia and Ben rushed to investigate. There, they found a small bird trapped in a tangle of branches, its wing injured and unable to fly. Working together, Mia gently freed the bird from the branches while Ben fed some water to soothe its frown. With Mia's gentle touch and Ben's quick thinking, they nursed the bird back to health, feeding its seeds and berries until it was strong enough to fly away. As they watched the bird soar into the sky, Mia and Ben smiled at each other, their bones stronger than ever. Through their adventure, they discovered that the greatest treasure of all was the love and bond they shared as siblings.